welcome happy new year's eve uh it's new year's eve going to a wedding new year's eve wedding um that is the dress i'm wearing i don't know if you can see just a little more gold it's a formal wedding so that you'll, you'll see i'll do the whole little spiel or turn around and stuff like that uh purse up there it's michael kors i have no idea how i got that they got that from my mother it's it's an old purse um because michael kors purses are not cheap i always wanted one so i have that one is it a clutch purse purse i was looking for that i've had forever but of course moving i have no idea where it is now it's probably in one of my bins or boxes in my closet but i think michael kors uh will be just fine um so with that, I obviously did my eyes. Juvia's Place, the chocolates, with a little bit of Natasha Denona for the gold with her baby gold palette that she had come out like a few months ago for the holidays. Eyebrows done. My face is relatively moisturized already from earlier today. Should've got this glitter out. Um, so I just need to put the uh, primer on and we can start. Let's see how much we have left. Smashbox, I'm still... I'm gonna keep using this until it's all out. I don't get paid till Friday, so. And I was in Ulta yesterday, actually. But I was like, oh, I need gas money <laughs> to drive to the wedding. So I didn't get it. I don't know if that little $3 off coupon works for us as well. It is really at the end of its life. Okay, that's it. Mostly for this cheese on. I'm trying to get it. And I did try to clean up my eyebrows. I ended up messing up one while doing so. So kind of use some uh, brow gel in addition to the pencil I always use. So I'm gonna put that away. And then um, I'm not gonna go crazy with the powder like I usually do, um, depending on foundation usually so i'm just gonna do a little bit of t-zone because even with the foundation i'm using which is a matte one still uh it'll look shiny in that area and i'm gonna avoid the other areas where foundation ends up looking cakey my eyebrows yeah clean up my eyebrows actually Got them not looking oily for once. So maybe I should do that more often. I don't usually have time in the morning. I'm just like natural and go. Okay. As we know, towel. So I have less than an hour. I want to leave at a certain time. So. Um, so I'm looking towards that. Because it's a couple of freeways. It's, it's south. Um. So this is only 30 minutes so. though. Alright. Hopefully nothing is closed because it's New Year's Eve and construction people should not be walking, shutting down anything. So we're using the trusty Estee Lauder Double Well Foundation. Of course, because if you're gonna be at a wedding for a few hours, you gotta go with a mat or Estee Lauder. You know it's pretty reliable. So I'm gonna do one pump. And that was a big pump. So that should hopefully work. And that's supposed to be one pump, so we shall see. Using the Real Techniques 200 again. I do have a damp sponge as well. Try not to start on my nose because I noticed it doesn't stay on anyway. But certain parts of my face look more cakey, depending on where I start it. Not cakey, but very foundationally, I'll say. So I'm kind of. And I'll use that. Put drops on my face too. Just go all the way down the neck. Try to do it in sections. To avoid drying out and cakiness. Maybe another pump, half a pump. Okay, 
open that little nose. Again, this will settle in. I do expect my apartment complex to be lively since I've uh, moved to this part of the complex. You notice on holidays they, they get pretty lively, which is fine. And if it's holiday, I don't care. I don't fall asleep to any noise you make eventually. A little bit more of my hair is grown, which is about how much I wanted, maybe a little bit slightly more for the wedding. So I'll be cutting it Monday night to work. Because oh, I don't say cut low with edit dresses, but okay, if I add any more, I'm not doing it in my chin area. I like this one, it usually settles in kind of like I can see mirror versus camera. And that one pump works. Little coverage of my lips because when I use this foundation, I've noticed it. If I don't go all the way to the edge of my lips, it just looks weird to me. Okay, so now if I'm going to take off an excess on my hand that I will not be using, so I'll use my hand for something else with it. I should make up a pile, but I should just make a pile somewhere. So, yeah. Let's do, I'm going to put this over there. Concealer, HD NYX. Do something different. We'll do something like that. I'm almost running out of this too. I almost bought some last night because I have one left. And I'm like, um, other people use this? It's, it's almost like my perfect shade, so the fact that other people use it, I'm like, okay. Okay, I'm going to put a little on here. This is what I was going to do. Somebody's out in front of my talking. Again, I'm not doing... Anything for brightening. Anastasia, Beverly Hills, 19, Magic Concealer. And that's why I'm going to do a little brightening. A little tiny bit. So you notice this color will take over <laughs> when I blend out. And then we are contouring and bronzing today. Uh, Fenty. Let's warm it up a little. Make it closer to my hairline. Just made me wonder if I turned off my ringer. You know, nobody else sent some text to my mother. She knows I'm going to the wedding. I reminded her last night I'm going to the wedding. She's forgotten. What are they going to do? They always celebrate 10 o'clock, New York time. So usually that's when she calls me. I'm using way too many tissues. And so I was like, um, I might be home by then. I don't know. Depends. I'm just not know as a groom. Well, I mean, there could be guests that I might know because I we went to school together. So I'm like, and I saw him a few years ago before the pandemic. We went out to eat. Um, hopefully, maybe there's some other people I know. Um, so I'm kind of introverted or shy. So it's definitely not them it's oh, new people people usually eventually start talking to me anyway uh, people like talking to me so so i'm not really worried about that i just um you know bringing in a new year with people i don't know 
kind of thing. Um, you used to just notice I like how this blends out. It looks a little less crazy when I did my forehead blending out. Right now, can't even see it. I also did less of the Anastasia like I usually do for brightening. So that could be a fact as well. See, so blend out a little bit of this. So I did for cleaning up my brow. Okay, see. Okay. Yes, looks crazy. The usual. This. My brow's a little crooked, but again, nobody should be that close to my face. And like, let's do some midnight kiss, which they're COVID. Complete stranger. I, that should not be happening. Um, but yeah, okay. Then let's go under eye. So it's formal, like I said, on some little less dramatic. I mean, I still have the gold, obviously, these eyebrows, but a little less dramatic. It's not my day. I'm not even doing eyelashes today, but I also don't want to deal with trying to make sure they go on correctly and all that. stress of that. And I'm going to do my under eye with eyeshadow afterwards. It's in the mirror. I can't really see the concealer. Oh, no, it's there. Contour. I like this brush for contour. I'm trying to remember where I got this from, but I get this from Ulta. No. Looking at it, the name of it, I think Royal and Langerns. I can't see without my glasses. I got this at TJ Maxx. But I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, I wasn't really good at contouring then, so I'm like, but it's coming handy. I'm trying to blend in because I've noticed sometimes I don't blend very well. I'll see it later, but I'm like, depending on where I'm at, I'm like, y'all didn't say nothing. But I was one place where I'm like, uh, I was around a bunch of guys and they don't know anything about makeup. So they wouldn't, of course, know, uh, Andrea, blend in your contour. Well, let me get that for you. And they did notice they probably knew I was on this journey and like, all right, she, she still looks fine. Hopefully, <laughs> or they just didn't notice because they don't notice some things sometimes. One of the things they do notice is like, oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, usually doing my eyes takes a while, which is why I did it off camera, even though I'm faster at it, but I, yeah, I don't need to watch me do my eyebrows and my eyes, eyebrows and my eyeshadow. I try to keep these videos low, around 30, 40 at the most. Cause I know I've watched some videos in like an hour and I'm like, okay, luckily you, I'm not as entertaining as some of them. So, okay. And then I'm gonna powder, then do blush. And then we'll go from there. Actually, pal let's do blush first. So I'm gonna do Rare Beauty, Faith. And I'm just doing this for going down for right now. This is uh, my other blush that I'll be using. Let's just do a side here. Even see that it's shocking because 
Hmm, see, there we go, that's good. I realized I forgot to blend in my concealer edges. I did all that, so it's a little late for that. It's like the time of the year, and I forget. It's like you forget everything, and right. But I remembered before I powdered. Because again, you're going to be powdering, so it's not like it matters. It's almost like, do I, am I running out? I don't use it that much, really. Just should, stuff should last forever. <laughs> I'm also going to be using a damp sponge, it's probably getting soaked up in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have the same tissue this time. Okay, now we're gonna powder. Even though I'm not wearing this shirt. Just for now. Should have sprayed and then powdered. Lose that now. To make sure it lasts. Because cocktail hour, I guess it's supposed to be by a pool. It's been kind of chilly. It's been raining. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. It rained yesterday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. But literally after minutes, supposedly. Um, maybe they have a little heater things. Otherwise, I might be inside. Because I'm, I'm taking my petticoat and peacoat as my formal jacket because uh, I have you know fur faux fur shawl thingy shrug so my granny probably had one of those because she was very fashionable huh I wonder where that went I'm not saying she had one but she probably did okay so that's that powder and then I'm going to do I have chapstick on my lips but in preparation I'm gonna do, uh Ulta Beauty lip primer It happens whenever I lift it too far. I think that would stop. I remember that, but I forget every single time. Which is why I only lift it very little. So, follow up. I don't have to get a new one because it's just going to happen again. And I still have some left. Still usable. Just have to be specific with it. I'm still deciding if I'm going to do gloss, lip liner, or just do red lipstick. Go with these eyes. These eyes might be a bit much, so. I'm not put mascara on either yet. Okay, I'm going to bronze now. And then I will uh, probably some still on this brush because I just did my makeup the other day. Warm up a bit. Mostly, I look natural when I hold these brushes. I know sometimes you'll probably like, why she hold a brush like that? And I know uh, one of the people who taught me was teaching me makeup application. She usually hold it like this. You gotta be precise. That's what she told me. Um, I'm precise. I just don't. If you're not used to doing it, and you literally just have been 
I'm like, to me, it, it gets the job done. So, you know, it looks funny the way I hold it. It's getting the job done. So it's that. And then I'm going to, let's see if we can get some more powder out. Okay, on that thing. Yes. There we go. We do. So, we bake. I'm just trying to. So for when um, I do what have you, because okay, so that, I'm going to, let's set this first. Did I not bring mine? I did not. So brush some of that off. It wasn't that much on here, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Trivia's Place, I'm just using uh, Deep Dark. I'm using Deep, I believe, is the top one to set. Bronzer. What's that? A simple set blush, of course, Trivia's Place, uh, Neo. No, it's not the exact same shade as the uh, uh, blush. You just know I love my Neo. Put the powder and I set. Calm some of that down. This for highlight of what you're supposed to do after you've set and sprayed and all that. So, okay, let's set the face uh, with powder. And then, you know what? I didn't do. I gotta. All right, let's do under eye real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's uh, Ulta Beauty. No, I'm not gonna reach for that. Uh, put all on her. Please, baby is crying. I blinked. Let's start over here. So I just blink on the other side first. Now, so like, how do you know you blink on the other side? I just blink on this eye, but it goes down for some reason. Try to do liquid and then set with this. But, uh, no, I didn't feel like doing liquid today. And what else today? I was getting a few groceries to, uh, get me through tomorrow. Or just tonight, if I come home before midnight. Still, it's not till tonight. I'm like, oh. I got a donut. I had a donut while I was, uh, softening up my feet. Which I have socks on, and I put lotion all over my body, and socks on to keep them keep them soft so i have open toe shoes they're not heels i don't want to wear the heels i was going to wear the heels but no i'm standing a long time even though they say comfort i have a semi arch so standing in any type of incline i actually gotta go find some place to sit down It's a weird ring. I'm hoping that's firecrackers. 
in bed as well. So do I. Cause I don't, my apartment complex is nice. Some of the places around it aren't the greatest. I live near the light rail. Um, some of not the greatest people will be on the light rail. There's plenty of working class, but I've noticed some, um, I don't want to say criminals, but uh, basically, yeah, criminals also ride the light rail. They are interesting. I've seen them. And then people who obviously have substance abuse sometimes be around the light rail and not necessarily be on it. So sometimes I hear noises and it's like, oh, okay. Let's hope that's firecrackers. Should have, uh, lost my black eye, but I obviously did not. My Joe on. My cold. I think it's enough. I don't know why I keep going. It's that, and that took up way too much time. Place that. And then let us go underneath. Uh, get into chocolates. And then. Not the right brush for this, but that's what we're using. It's not like I could have got a hotel room where it's been done, but I was like, eh, I live in Phoenix. I don't really want to pay when I live here. Um, so I'm just gonna do Morphe. Uh, Petal Passion 9P to grab a little of this pink that's in here. I was going to use this to uh, blend out there upper lid, but yeah, I can do a little here. Now we do my mascara last. Do I spray? Because it was that. It also helps bring in the look. Okay, now set. So we can almost be done. And medium deep, Laura Mercier. Of course, it's always too much with this one, whatever. Okay, I'm baking. I don't know how people bake and, and not dry, make the under hard look all dry. So. 2023, maybe I'll figure that out. Baking and not losing hydration. And my nose, yeah, my nose is probably not gonna. It's that tiny purse. I'm like, okay, I can, I can fit my phone in there. I figured that out. Um, AAA card, ID, card with some money on it, even though I gotta pay rent tomorrow if I need to. And uh, basics, and then let's get the, the oily, oiling oil blotting sheets okay yeah, that looks good then actually let's do that where is my and i knew i needed that and of course i can't find it okay we're gonna pause okay needed my Lip liner, brown. I'm using a brown lip liner, so I'm like, I can't not use it. So 
kind of meet my lip line. Where did I put all the products? The line, but still, okay. I'm look here. Uh, let's make my next move. Give, uh, I believe it's original me. I uh, got this in a little kit, it's matte. It's wonderful by itself, um, or with the red, you don't uh, need a liner for this one. I'm trying something. Which, after maybe a cocktail and food, reapplying, I'll probably just put gloss on. Usually my mats stay on like for a while. Cause it's matte, it's supposed to. So I wanna see the brown liner, but not as well. Tiny, can fit in that tiny purse. Y'all know how I do. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Then, minted number one crayon. I think there's a shine. Definitely stay. Some of it. it might be much. Hmm? Probably. Okay, and then that's spray and then earrings and then mascara. And then you can uh, I'm putting more on here, but I'm just gonna push. Actually, wait. I don't know what that noise is. I'm trying to get down uh, some of the shine. I like to shine, but and it's not actually oiliness, it's just shine or hydration. Okay, now Lash Paradise. Let's wipe off these ears.
looking for my eyelashes today. They do not last long. For some reason, I don't know why this all just got clunky. Took me to the left. It's like everything that was in the bottom. Because it's wetting, it might get moved. I don't want to not use waterproof. And then if it decides to rain early, that's a whole other issue. Okay. Then, yeah, so I'm like, they still feel wet. Uh, I'm using Dreams uh, Paparazzi, five dollars. Uh, one of my <clears throat> uh, bunch friends sells them. And I got these a while ago and I haven't had a reason to wear them. But again, gold bar on the uh, dress. This lipstick might be much. Um, but and then I have, especially, I don't remember where I got this bracelet from, but it's very. I don't wear that much because okay, I don't really go anywhere fancy or I don't wear a lot of jewelry. And of course, what is that? Oh, for the help of I unhook it quickly. I'm going to put it on this wrist because, again, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. But the one ring I do wear that my dad gave me, I wear on my right hand. So. And then, I do have. Blue tape um, for the dress. You'll see why in a second. Okay. Okay, this might seem much. I'm thinking about it. I need to change my lips. Well, for now, this is my final look. Then I'll put the dress on. Pause. So, just a dress, a little gold bar. I was talking about those earrings. This, don't have my ring on yet, I need a lotion. So boob tape, I wasted so much boob tape. Uh, and then I bent over, put my shoes on, so now it's sticking lovely, but not the way that I originally had it. So I think it might be okay with that boob tape. And I'm not wearing the uh, Ashley Stewart shapewear, which is a dress. Just wearing the shorts that I have from Shape of Mint. Let's go up. Not to shave under my arms, just this bra. I might change the bra as well. So, I should try to die down some of the shine in one eye. No, it's actually, I'm looking fine. I like the red. So, again, peacoat, petticoat. I really like this. Uh, this was my mother's dress. Um, She had in the closet. And she wasn't wearing it. And I was like, okay, if I go somewhere fancy now. Um, uh, also not really I'll find out when we're outside or windy. It goes all the way down, so she was probably really more appropriate. But um mother's dress, thank you, mother. Uh going through her closet for fancy events. Again, I don't go to a lot of fancy events. So this is from Be Perfect. See the bra. There we go. Yeah, I like that it's long. It's not restricting. I could possibly wear this without any shapewear. And it still shows a little bit of skin cleavage. So, Happy New Year. If you're making resolutions, hopefully you keep them. Uh, just make goals. You might have to make resolutions. And, but yeah, Happy New Year. Hope everyone has a good, safe New Year.